am Dr. Sridhara, Director of Minimal Access and Robotic Surgery, Fortis Hospital, Banagata Road. I am here to talk about the pancreas, its conditions, the medical management and the surgical management. Pancreas is one of the digestive organs which is present in the seal loop of duodenum. Why is it important? Because it is required for digestion of proteins and fat mainly. One thing which is of concern here is the biliary drainage, the bile which gets entered into the intestines also joins the pancreatic duct and opens into the second part of the duodenum. Why is this significant for as a surgeon? Because many of the problems which come for um, the pancreas can affect the biliary system, the bile or some of the problems which is present in the bile like stone disease and cancer can affect the pancreas. So many times while trying to manage a condition which is exclusive for biliary system would require us to operate on the pancreas also. So as we discuss down this, I'll explain to you the conditions which require both the organs to be managed. So coming to the non-cancerous conditions, one of them is the pancreatitis. Itis means the infection or the inflammation and it can be acute which happens in the short duration, few days or it can be chronic where the patient will be experiencing these trouble over weeks and months. So when it is in acute pancreatitis, the reasons usually are the stone disease in the gallbladder or in the common channel, what we call it as common bile duct or the second most common is the alcohol. So and the third most common is the idiopathic where we will not be able to pinpoint one particular reason. There are medical conditions which cause this acute pancreatitis which is increased serum calcium level because of any reason or triglycerides when the lipid profile we do in the fasting state the triglycerides elevation can also cause this acute pancreatitis and of course there are some medications which can cause this acute pancreatitis acute pancreatitis usually are managed in a medical way we admit the patients we give them lots of fluids we give them the painkillers we'll make sure that these people don't land in multiple organ failure which usually happens if they are not treated properly. So as an investigation for these things, we start with some biochemical markers like amylase, lipase and radiological investigations. We start with an ultrasound, sometimes CT scan or an MRCP or MRI of the abdomen also. Most of the patients when we are able to manage with the medicines will be admitted in the ward. Sometimes these patients can have a severe condition which have multiple organ dysfunction like they will have difficulty in breathing, BP dropping or kidney failure. So these patients would require an admission in the intensive care unit and of course a different team will have to be involved for treating these kind of problems because of acute pancreatitis. Only when patient is not able to be managed in the medical way over the next few days only then the surgery is done for acute pancreatitis.